Yeah, some people ask me a question. You're a research physicist. You do research, write papers. Why engage the public? Well, our machine was canceled in 1993. Our field was set back 20 years as a consequence. Right. Now the center of gravity is going to Europe. We lost the edge. You see, in the 1960s and 70s, during the Cold War, we would go to Congress and say one word, mm -hmm. Russia. Yep. And Congress would open up their, tech, uh, their checkbook and say two words. How, how much? much? <laughs> Those days are gone. Today, we physicists have to sing for our supper. We have mm -hmm. to convince the taxpayers that they should fund physics. Yeah. And that's why we physicists now are trying to engage the public, because the Cold War is over. The Russians aren't building atom smashers. They're not competing with us in outer space. So we have to convince the public that yes, your taxpayer's money is good because we can cure diseases, yep. we can unravel the nature of who we are, explore the universe, and it's worth it. It's worth your taxpayer's money. And I think that's one of the big questions. I mean, people have asked me why when there's poverty, there's hunger, there are all these social issues that are so pressing around the, wor around the world. Mm -hmm. Why spend the billions of dollars on a machine to smash atoms? Let me give you an example. Uh, when I was a child, polio was a big problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Our president, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, in the 30s had polio. And there was a debate in the scientific community whether we should build more iron lungs, more iron lungs, hundreds, thousands of children <gasps> breathing in an iron lung, yeah. or we should devote a little bit of money to cure polio. Well. Guess what happened? Jonas Salk cured polio with mm -hmm. the vaccine, and all of a sudden, all these thousands of iron lungs were obsolete. obsolete. Now, what's the lesson here? The lesson here is that we scientists don't do science just, just for the hell of it. Well, we do that too. Yeah. <laughs> but what we do, the spin-offs of what we do, can cure diseases that affect tens of millions of people around the world, okay? Mm -hmm. And some of it is by accident, and some of it is by design. But the point is that science is the engine of prosperity. Science is the engine of health, okay? Mm -hmm. We ignore science at our own peril. We go back to the Dark Ages with all the superstition and diseases of the Dark Ages without science. We need science.